what's going on guys we're finally back it's friday we got back on tuesday uh, we got a couple workouts in the past two days but they were kind of rushed and um, you know getting back into the swing of things is kind of tough so we didn't get a lot of footage there but uh we're back at it today it's friday friday night at 6 30. i'm gonna be hitting legs tonight what do you got what are you doing arms, arms. every day is arm day duh um, just walking right now to get loose. We just, uh, we just, no idea. We just, uh, so I uploaded the footage on my camera from the Mexico trip and let's just say epic. <laughs> I don't like to use that word all too often because I feel like it's overused, but definitely going to be one epic video. I don't know if it's safe for YouTube or not, but we're definitely going to have have it turned into something. Actually, one of the guys we went with works for an advertising company out in Las Vegas, and uh, he's going to send it over to their his film people who actually know how to edit, unlike me. Um, and they're going to try and edit it into you know put music over it and stuff. So, gym's pretty empty tonight. Like I said, I'm training legs. It's warming up right now. Um, it's probably going to be a pretty interesting leg day. I haven't been geez I think back over a week since the last time I hit legs so I gonna be feeling a little bit I think I'm gonna squat today I'll probably leg press I'm probably not gonna squat just because my knees are kind of feeling good right now and I want to I'm kind of ease my way back into it not necessarily ease my way but I want to see how my knees feel hips feel after the first day back and then I'll kind of assess and go from there but for right now we're gonna get finished warmed up I'm gonna go dynamic warm with the bands here in a second and then we're on it. have to admit these little machines that you only see girls using and then guys creepishly stare at them I am slowly falling in love with them I started using this one um, where you push you know out on your knees if you will that's kind of the last thing in my warm-up I was when I was talking to my friend about uh, he's the athletic trainer for the Pittsburgh Pirates in the Pittsburgh Pirates organization he said it looked like a lot of my issues were from uh, my, my quads were able to contract so hard that my glutes essentially shut off. Uh, so he said kind of add this into the beginning of the workout to really activate that glute. And uh, eventually that hip pain will start to go away. It's working a little bit, but uh, just three, four sets light of this to get activated. And then I'm going to go hit the leg press. So we went four sets on the leg press and it was not very good, but uh, that's all right. That uh, went with a little bit of a wider stance. My knees started bugging me, but I, it turned out they just kind of needed to get warmed up a little bit and used to push some weight again. So didn't feel that bad. Um, you know, didn't feel that tight. Contractions weren't great, but again, they weren't bad. So all in all, it's okay. I'm going single leg leg press on the uh, light fitness right now. Again, just trying to pump some blood in there. Just fairly light, not too light, but light enough where I can control it. And like I said, like I said, get a good contraction. Got two sets in already. About to get my third one, and then uh, yeah, I'm going to go RDLs.
Alright, so rather than go RDL, I scrapped it and went flying hamstring curl instead. Just got down four sets. Had to keep it light. I got no that trip. That trip definitely took it out of me, which kind of sucks because we were grinding pretty hard, almost like show prep, you know, with the fasted cardio and stuff before we left. But it's all good. Like I said, kept it light. Um, the one thing I always, or I've tried to advocate for lately is when you're doing the lying hamstring curl, focus more on pushing your hips into the pad. I see a lot of people, their butts or their hips start to lift off the pad and it really takes a lot of the focus. I'm kind of watching this dude do it right now. But uh, it takes a lot of the focus off the hamstring um, and you don't get as good of a contraction. So again, push the hips into the pad, think heel, heel the hamstring and you'll get get a much stronger contraction going. Uh, leg extension, again, using light fitness stuff. Single leg at a time, 10 reps per leg, just trying to force some blood in there. I say I'll only do three, but I'll probably end up doing four sets, so. Just getting back from the gym, did about four minutes of abs, and then realized I needed to call it quits. But uh, like I said, decent. It's not bad for a first leg day back. Once I started doing those uh, accessory like isolation movements, I got much better contractions. I just, that leg press, I was kind of worried. I wish I could have got better reps in, but live and you learn, life goes on. Walking back. Bees on Snapchat as usual. Walking back to our spot right now. Any guesses where we're going for dinner? Chipotle! Chipotle for the third time this week. Uh, I told her we're going to start calling ourselves the Chipotle couple. Uh, probably not, but I just thought it was a good idea. And I just realized I'm kind of rambling on camera right now. That's okay. We're going to walk into our unbelievably messy apartment and put our stuff down and go to Chipotle. What's up guys? It's late. It's about 11.30. Uh, I am waiting for this online course, this NCA eligibility course, to finish up rolling through so I can get that taken care of because I have my first... Uh, club tournament, my 17 year old and under team, uh, play tomorrow, tomorrow morning early, so I gotta be up and out, um, like I said, I just gotta let this run through, and I might eat something here in a minute, I'm a little hungry, but that's gonna be it for today, um, not a bad day, got a good decent workout in, I'm excited, uh, it's finally the weekend, it's the long week of getting back from Mexico, and trying to get back in the routine of things, so. Like I said, excited for the weekend. We're going house shopping again tomorrow. Back on the grind, looking for houses. Um, and after that, we'll see where the day takes us. All right, see you guys tomorrow. I'm 
morning guys it is just after 7 a.m. it's a little early but uh, I'm on my way to coach my 17 and under club team uh, we're playing at this spot it's about a half hour away and uh, I had to be on the road early I got my coffee just had my liquid breakfast again a cup of oatmeal two scoops of protein not bad and uh, we'll be ready to go Luckily, the games are back to back, so we should get done at a fairly decent time because Brittany and I have uh, house showings scheduled basically from like 10 30 to 12 31 o'clock ish. So, like I was talking about last night, you know, we're, we're back on the hunt. Back on the hunt for a house. Hopefully, we, there's one we're going to see today we really like. Um, so, hopefully, things pan out for us, and uh, maybe this one will be the one we'll see after that. I'm um, just kind of laying low, hopefully finally getting unpacked. I finally got the majority of my stuff unpacked from Mexico uh, last night, but still got some last minute stuff to put away. It was just tough. Like we hit the, we got home and hit the ground running. You know, I had like the busiest, busiest two days possible trying to get back into the swing of things. And then, you know, you just get caught up with, you know, downtime at the end of the night. And, just trying to find some time to lay low, but it's all good. Um, yeah, so like I said, going to look at houses, and then after that, uh, probably just getting some stuff done. Definitely going to hit the gym uh, later today. I'm trying that new split. Uh, it's pretty, I, I kind of like it so far. Chest and tries, back, thighs, leg, and then shoulders and arms. I'm kind of doubling up on arms a little bit. Um, but so far, I really like it. Um, yesterday's leg day was okay. I mean, it, it could have been a lot better. It could have been a lot worse. Um, but we refueled with some Chipotle last night, so that felt good. And uh, get after it again today. So check in with you guys after the game, so let you guys know how we did, and uh, let you guys know how we did on, on, the, on the house hunt. What's going on, guys? I'm exhausted. Just got back from the house hunt. Good news is, is that we think, well, we found a place that we like, and we're going to put an offer in. And, um, we're kind of excited because we talked to the broker that's actually selling it, and she said with the offer that we're thinking about presenting, we might have a chance to sell. So, fingers crossed. Um, Brittany and her mom are waiting at the, uh, we're waiting at the sushi restaurant across the street from our apartment, so I'm going to head over there. I'm going to put this stuff down. You guys can see I've my hands full of stuff. I've been gone for a while, but, um, sorry, I'm kind of whispering because I'm in the hallway, but I'm going to put this stuff down and go meet him over there for grab what's eat. And then I'm going to come back and get off my feet for a little bit and then I'm going to go to the gym. My whole body hurts. <laughs> guys, we fell asleep. <laughs> we we, sushi Akoma. We succumbed to the ever so famous and classic Sushi Coma. Oh, is it not Akoma? That's what I said. I said no, you said Sushi Coma. Yeah. I said Akoma. Oh. Sushi Akoma. Sorry. I don't know which one I it know, is. I don't know what's going on right now. But yeah. For now, rather than not eating, we're going to try a new place called Crepes A Go Go, which is this little kiosk, go -go. <laughs> which is this little kiosk at the mall that we live at, that we've never gone to. Sounds so good good. It's, you just <laughs> say everything after twice. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, go -go. it's this little tiny hut right here that we think is open, but we're not really sure. Let's see how this goes. Don't do Can you see your reflection? <laughs> you guys, we said we were going to wait to eat these, but look at that. This dude, I don't know how he does it. He said he's from the Congo, but he makes amazing crepes. I'm going to I'm going to have to I'm going to have to have a bite of this before we go. Oh yeah. Oh, 100%. Do I get whipped cream or no? Yes. I need a knife. <laughs> Go get one. No, I got it. All right, ready? Oh, same time, same time. One, two, three. 
Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so good. We got uh, arms day going down right now. Shoulders. A little bit of tries, a little bit of buys. I do usually do buys and tries during the week, but I like to add them in. Just one more day to get some blood, fill out the fill out the whole arm, but really focus on shoulders tonight. I just watched uh, Steve Cook's uh, five shoulder moves that you need to be doing, and basically just following off that. It's an upright row, front press, uh, lat raise, rear delt fly, and a machine press. So we're gonna hit those, and in between sets when I have time, we're gonna incorporate uh, some buys and tries, like I said. But right now. I'm hitting the upright row, um, 70 pound barbell. Not that heavy, but I get actually getting a pretty good pump. One thing I'm trying to do that um, you know, I've heard a lot of people talk about is rather than raise, you know, just straight up and down to pull it out in front of you a little bit. I'll show you when I get going, but actually working pretty good. So I'm gonna get my last set in here and then move on. What's up guys? We got uh, arms day going down right now. Shoulders, a little bit of tries, a little bit of bias. I do usually do buys and tries during the week, but I like to add them in. Just one more day to get some blood, fill out the, fill out the whole arm, but really focus on shoulders tonight. I just watched um, Steve Cook's uh, five shoulder moves that you need to be doing, and basically just following off that. It's an upright row, front press, uh, lat raise, rear delt fly, and a machine press. So we're gonna hit those, and in between sets when I have time, we're gonna incorporate uh, some buys and tries, like I said, but right now, I'm hitting the upright row, um, 70 pound barbell, not that heavy, but I get actually getting a pretty good pump. One thing I'm trying to do that um, you know, I've heard a lot of people talk about is rather than raise, you know, just straight up and down to pull it out in front of you a little bit. I'll show you when I get going, but actually working pretty good. So I'm gonna get my last set in here and then move on. Second shoulder movement. Uh, we're going like a underhand or reverse grip. I don't even know what you call it, but front press, kind of pressing away from you to really work the front delt. I usually try and keep my front delts away from my chest just because I get, I do get some pain there, but today it's not that bad. So, um, like I said, front press, fairly light. So I think 65 pounds. Easy bar. See, I lean against the rack because it gives me a little bit of curve. Kind of helps the angle. Third shoulder movement. Booty work going down over here. Booty work. Uh, th third shoulder movement, single arm lat raise, and then uh, leaning against the creature curl, going overhead tricep extension. Again, getting a pretty good pump so far. Feeling good. Those crepes, the crepes and the sushi are feeling good right now. On her phone, as usual. Losing gains. Look, there she is. Busted. Just kidding. I literally just put my phone down and stopped texting. Um, I just realized that the side raises and uh, overheads, tries, I did not get any footage of. And of course, in the bro land of gym photos and videos, if you don't take a video of it or a photo, you didn't do it. I'm just kidding. Got it done. Tries feel really good right now. Right now, I'm going a reverse grip. I'm using this flat machine. And I'm going reverse grip tries, and then I'm picking up just 10 pound dumbbells and going four sets of 15 uh, bent over fly. Pretty good pump right now, feel pretty good. Uh, it's almost 9.30, so we gotta get out of here soon so we can eat and try and get to bed at a decent time today, but we're gonna finish up and get out of here. Alright guys, last shoulder movement, what I'm doing is machine press, but I'm putting the balance disc behind my back when I'm in here, so what it does is it pushes me further off the chair that when I press, rather than being straight up and down, there's actually kind of an arcing angle motion to it, it goes more overhead, um, it feels a lot more natural and I actually get, I feel like I get better contractions out of it, so we're going to stay there, fairly lightweight, 4 sets of 12 to 15 here, like I said, last one, and then I'm doing a uh, 
FST7 curls uh, with the easy blow on the cables. Obviously, for those of you that don't know, FST7, seven sets of the same movement. Very, very minimal rest. Um, really gorgeous, that muscle with blood. And gives you a really good pump, so we'll finish up with these two. And then real quick abs, and then we're out of here. So that'll probably be, oh, and then we're gonna eat the crepes. <laughs> That'll probably be the end of the vlog for tonight, just because, like I said, we're trying to get out of here, and then probably no footage tomorrow because I'm coaching all day, so uh, probably put the camera down and try and get some of that stuff edited and up for you guys. It's been a while since I had an upload, um, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Like I said, we'll finish up here. Go eat those crepes. Call it night. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe.